You are seeing me for the first time. My name is Medilock, and I'm saying a very big welcome to you guys. Thank you so much for joining us here. Um, God bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we normally meet here every Saturday, 8 p.m. Nigerian. But um, due to one thing or the other, I was doing something and I couldn't meet up. I'm coming up now, 30 minutes late. <laughs> so sorry about that. Yes. So you're welcome on board. Yeah, thank you for joining us, Tony Akindele, Caitlin, Alupo, Notando, Barbara Ashilu, Jemine Fagwen, yeah, Marvelin Benjamin, guys, you're welcome. Patricia Akidin, yeah, thank you, Helene Momodu, thank you so much for joining us here. I'm so glad and so happy to have you guys join us. So thank you so much for joining us. Please remember to give me thumbs up as you join us here. Yes. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us here. Amen. Agmen B. Thank you. Toko Sarwese, you're welcome. Anik Media Channel, you're welcome. I'm fine. Esther Mutsia, you're welcome. Yeah. Hyacinta Emanos. <laughs> guys thank you so much for joining us here okay today we have plenty things to talk about and we want to start with the topic of the day okay and the topic of the day we are going to be talking about how to use your early money you know okay early money you early money you win is very potent or let me say urine first and foremost let's take it from there because some of us we heard about early money urine and they are talking about early money urine so the only thing we know about early money urine or calling urine is positivity okay you can use them for negative and positive side positive for you always but negative for somebody else or for the work of the enemy against you. So let me break it down. When you have something that you doubt or a place that you feel the enemy has sprinkled some things for you or you found something strange in your home, in your place of business, at times the enemy can put charm. They will tie something, they will make some incantations, maybe whatever, whatever it is, they will bring it and drop it in your place of business or in your home to scatter your home, to stagnate your life, to destroy your business, to destroy your career, or in your place of business so that it can die a natural death. So when you use your urine. It's not just early money urine. When you use your urine on that particular object, that thing, the power of that thing will be broken, will be destroyed. That is one thing they use urine for. My mom once told us a story when we were growing up as children. There was a certain time my dad was behaving erratically more erratic. My dad was upset with every other wife in the house except one wife. She traveled home and came back. And um, she just wanted to be the madam, the owner of her husband, because um, she wants to marry the man alone. And my dad wasn't a man for one woman. One is that he is a man of timber and caliber, hold a very strong position in the society, in the army. Okay? When you are coming to our house, soldiers will open gate for you. There are soldiers washing plate in the kitchen. 
mopping the floor, ironing clothes in their uniform. And you, as a woman, you want to be the only woman that will be marrying such a man at that time. <laughs> so, she couldn't bear the fact that other women were coming in. My dad was a very handsome guy, man, and he had a lot of money. And he knows, he's very romantic, according to my mom. And he, he loves women. Yeah, he likes women. He likes them in different colors, sizes. Yes, the one that is fair, he would like her because of her complexion. The one that is dark, you'll be wondering, how can a human being be dark like this? You know, like, the one that is mamacious, he would like her. The one that is slim. So if you come to my house, or come to my father's house, so to say, hey, come to our family house, you will see my father's wife with different sizes. Yes. So it's like he filled his house with any type of woman. He has no any reason to go out. And uh -huh. so at a point, my dad had eight wives. And then he filtered them. It was only four that was left standing. And my mom was one of them. Uh -huh. So he said, these ones are the ones of that have noble characters. You know, noble characters or something like that, you know. So this particular wife, she went home and did something and they gave her stuff and she came with it with those things and she was doing great great if my father wear then my father was a guy man you know like he used to wear wristwatch on this hand we have another one we had wristwatch on both hands you know like <laughs> they are going and soldiers will open door for you they will come down with gun before you come down why would your head be doing like this you know so she too, my father has collections of wristwatch. I don't know what it is with him with wristwatch. So she, this man, this wife, this particular stepmother of mine, she likes wearing my father's wristwatch. And she said she is the next in command. This, this, that, you know, like. Then it came to a point, she just came back and she came with this stuff. All of a sudden, the house became hot. Hey, this and that. Then my mom said, you are holding something. Mm -mm. Then they begin to hunt her, to, to, to search for that power, that thing. And one day, she went to the ladies, like she went, she, 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 she was taking her bath in the bathroom. Then she removed those Layer, a liar, they call it liar, you know, like talisman. Plenty, you can pack it inside. Bowl. <laughs> How is this woman wearing this thing? She will bath in the morning, dress up, then she will wear all those things. The only time she doesn't wear is when she's going to do a hair with her husband if it is her tongue. So, my, the moment she just left the bathroom, my mom entered that bathroom. And lo and behold, all those things were hanging in one gave in one side. My mother quickly brought them down and urinated on them, standing. You know that kind of urine? You don't have to bed or let that thing not come and sting you, you know? And then took it up after urinating on them, took them up and hanged them back. Then she went in and she was dressing, she was dressing. She, when she finished, uh -huh, she started looking for her, her kaya, her material, her gadgets. She didn't see them, so she ran back to the bathroom. Then she now brought it out. You know that canteen, now you cannot show anybody, you cannot complain. It was wet. She just cleaned it. She said, she, she was not thinking that maybe it was the water she was using to bathe that splashed, maybe the shower or whatever that splashed on it. So, hey, her power disappeared. That day, my father came back home. It was another thing. In fact, that one cannot be described here. The way she used to do, all those things she used to do, it was like war between her and her husband. 
right from that moment, the husband and I returned back and became the husband of all of them. So now, from that, from this story about urine, that wasn't an early morning urine, it was just a normal, ordinary urine. So, if there is any charm, anything that they bury anyway, you can easily use early morning, you, you can use a urine to neutralize that thing. So I will advise you, you should not squat on it. Just get a container, urinate inside that container, go and sprinkle it in that particular spot on that thing. That thing will spoil. Yes. It will not work again. Then, if you just say you carry something, you now pour kerosene and put fire. Yes, because some people who are carrying out a family deliverance, I used to see it. You say you are carrying out family deliverance. And then you go, you stand, you gather yourself. Fornicator is standing one side here. Adultery is standing one side here. Gossiper, backbiter, scammer. I'm calling all the people that are singing chorus, those ones that are carrying Bible like this. They will tie her tie. Those that have finished life and they have reversed from where they are. They are one leg in, one leg out. One is a drunkard. But uh, during a church activity, they look sober. But in their private time, their neighbors cannot drink water and keep up. They are part of your prayer warrior. You carry them and travel to go to somebody's compound to go and do deliverance. Come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power, oh Lord. Come down and manifest your power. And then the pastor will just carry Bible. Even the pastor says, when you screen him spiritually, you look at him, he's not even qualified to be standing there. See, there is a difference between demon and principality. Family deliverance, you are, you are dealing with principality. It's not an ordinary demon. So, then all these people that I've mentioned now, the fornicator, the adulterer, the uh, gossiper, backbiter, drunkard, mm -mm -mm. people that are keeping malice, they are standing. And then, they are singing for you, they are your backup. And then you carry Bible. Every power in this family, every household wickedness in this family, every fire, every mami or spirit, every this and that. Yes, we have come to pray. Oh, yeah, bring them out, bring them out. Then they will not bring the bowl of uh, whatever their forefathers were serving. They bring it to the compound. Then when you pray, 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 you, you shout, shout, shout. Then you will not carry kerosene and pour on top of it. And then you will now light, put fire, lighter, and put on it. <clears throat> As the thing is burning, you say, yes, keep praying, keep praying, continue to pray, keep praying, praying, praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The enemy is defeated. The enemy is defeated. In the name of Jesus. The enemy is defeated. He's defeated. See, that thing that is burning, that thing that you put kerosene, it cannot destroy it. That thing that you put fire on it, it cannot destroy it. The only thing it can do is that the spirit, the demon inside that thing, will jump out and go and enter into the body of any member of the family. Yes. You begin to see a small child is talking like an ancestor in the family. You don't know why the child is like that. You say, ah, uncle, as you are going, you will die. You. And if I told you to buy me biscuit last time, you refused. I'm hungry and you refuse to buy me biscuit. You will soon die. And the uncle will go and have an accident. They will bring his cup home. And you think it's ordinary. It is the family idol that is inside that person. You see, maybe he wants his own auntie. Maybe the, the ada of the family. This demon went into her body. And then she began to overdo. You say, Emeka, that your wife, I don't want to see her in this house again. That your wife, this, this, that, 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 that. 
Then she begin to control. She control this person, control that person. Yeah. And you think it's normal? Mm -mm. There is a relocation of spirit. They change, just change location or, or geography from physical, from an inanimate object into a living object. And the day she dies, the demon will move from her body to another person's body also. And then the cycle continues in the family. You are not taking care of that problem. So now, like what I want to tell us today, get your early morning. If you are facing stagnation, limitation, you are struggling. Ohio, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. God bless you. Yes, guys, I even forgot to ask you to super chat me. I beg. Oh, the point. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Ohio. Thank you. God bless you. Yes. So, guys, like as I was saying, this is our live video. And here we learn so many things that are simple but very, very important that can save you, that can save so many situations in front of you or in your life. Okay? So, now, your early morning urine. At times, some of us are wearing evil masks. Some of us are wearing... Amen. Thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So, some of us are carrying um, evil garment, evil mask. This favor is our second name. When people enter, they succeed. They apply. They get. They just came in in your presence. But Whatever they apply for, they get it. And you'll be wondering, what happened? So, you see? Mm -hmm. Alexis, thank you, thank you for the super chat. God bless you. Thank you so much. The reason is because of the spiritual baggages and luggages that you are carrying. It is written, by strength shall no man prevail. We all know this. When they say by strength shall no man prevail, they are not saying that you are going to, if you are going to fight, you are this and that. No. You, in my, in my interpretation of that word in the Bible, my own interpretation is that you cannot use ordinary eye to do my spirit. There are some prayers that God has given to us in a very simple way that you would do. That will break some powers that are following you. That soften your life for you. That opens your way for you. Yes. At times, somebody has spoken evil into your life. This is a spoken word. How do you deal with it? It's not a charm that says, okay, hey, let us call it out and then come at it. How do you do that? So early morning you rain. It's one of those things. And I used to advise people that get breakthrough soap. Yeah, breakthrough soap that we sell. Yeah, you can order it from us. And even if you don't have the breakthrough soap, you can just use your normal um, uh, 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 soap. Okay? But make sure that when you wake up in the morning, take a little bit when you are urinating. Get a content get a container something small collect a little bit of your urine while you are urinating just collect a little just a few drop of it inside your water yes a drop of it inside your your bathing water pray that oh god in heaven god of the universe the creator of heaven and earth, the one that made me my maker the owner of my life of my destiny the author of my destiny because when God created you, he did not put bad luck on you. Because God loves you. His heart beats for you. Yes. So when he created you, he said, I wish above all things that ye may prosper and be in good health. Yes. So any other thing that does not represent this particular word of God in your life, it is, it is the enemy's work. 
and you cannot just sit down and be looking. God has provided solution to it already. Why is it that people that are praying and praying for 10 years without doing anything, their situation remains the same? Why? Because everything has its own formula. It has its own formula. Yes. Like now, you are carrying sheet. You are carrying poto poto on your body. Then you go and sit and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, wash this sheet away from my body. Wash this sheet away from my body. They remove this thing from my body. You didn't get up. You didn't remove that cloth. You didn't take your bath. You didn't wash that cloth. And you sit with it like that. Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Every year you come before the presence of God with your filthy cloth. And you are asking God to wash you. Is it possible? Thank you. Somebody says she will under all my items. God bless you. So, it is not possible. See, I know what I'm saying. If only you can have an understanding of what I'm telling you, you will do exploit. Because now we have so many people that are testifying. In case you are new here, please just hit the subscribe button and join us here. Okay? Mm -hmm. And turn on the notification bell so that any day we upload video, we come live like this, you'll be the first to be notified. Yes. So, people are testifying. There is a shift. They will transfer you from your office. In your office, they will transfer you from one place to the other. You will see that that blessing will be following you. Even if you lose your job, you will still get another one that is greater than that. Yes. So, your early morning urine, collect your early morning urine, add a little bit of it inside your bathing water. Pray over it for purification. Pray over it to neutralize everything, every evil garment, every tree that is growing in your life that God has not planted. Whatever it is, every impurity in your life, every bad luck, every disadvantage that is following you, whether physically or spiritually, as you use this water to take your bath, let those powers be neutralized. It shall be so. Yes, it shall be so. Then repeat this particular thing every morning for seven days. You can do it for three days, if that is your strength. You can do it for five days, if that is your strength. But you can do it for seven days, okay? So, it goes a long way to open your way to help you. Early morning you rain. Because the spoken word you see, some people say, Koni dafwe. it will never be well with you. You think it's a joke? It's not. Some people's mouth can follow anybody. When you do this, such events, such attacks will be broken. Because it is not a physical object. You say, ah, eh, they throw arrow at me, or oh, this and that, or oh, come and see this thing, oh, the enemy. Mm. Last time, my sister called me. And said, she and the husband, they woke up in the morning. On opening their door in front of the balcony of the house, the veranda, the, you know, like when you want to enter into the living room, there was a bowl of charm, red cloth, different kinds of items with red feather, everything inside that place. It says charm. But it is not fired by, it is not brought there by a human being because their gate was locked. 
with barbed wire everything somebody cannot just successfully climb into the compound and come and drop that thing and go back it's not possible but it was projected and fired into that place the intention of the enemy is that when they behold it the moment they see it with their eye let something and something happen to them or if they touch it because you'll be tempted to carry it so when they came out, they saw it. <laughs> that one is not a big deal. Eh? I said, do this and do that. To that thing. Mm. And once they urinated and they bit it with urine, then use broom to pack it. And then went and discarded it. That was it. The person that fired that arrow was expecting that this man would have slumped down. That he'll be hearing something. Say, ah, something has happened to this person. Oh, hey, come, come, come. Oh. He did not hear anything. He even saw him again, drove to the village in the evening. And they saw him. And from that day on, he started running. Because the moment they saw that in the noise from so, so so enemy. So now, this same thing I'm teaching you here, I'm trying to bring your mind to practical aspects so that you will understand, you will know that this thing is possible. Yes. Guys, please super chat me. Anna Dennis, thank you, thank you for the super chat. God bless you. Please remember to super chat me. Don't be looking at me like that. And please give me thumbs up. Yes, look at the number of people following, but only 101 people gave me thumbs up. It's not fair now. Encourage me, okay, by giving me thumbs up. Hey, thank you, thank you, David Melembe. Thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. Yes. So, guys. Yes. Mm. So, you see, urine, it breaks the power of the enemy. It disappoints the counsel of the enemy over your life. It neutralizes whatever spiritual poison they have fired into your life to poison your appearance, to poison your destiny, to poison your progress, to poison your, your, your beauty, your handsomeness, your favor. Yes. Bola Ogumilade, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. God bless you. Yes. So, you see, do this early morning urine bath for um, seven days, five days, or three days. Then once in a while you repeat it. Because you see why you repeat this. It's one of the first aid in spirituality. Because one, somebody may be there in your family. Maybe they just see that, ah, their engineers are doing something in your sight. And he's building house. Hey, hey, we'll see how you complete it. Yeah. It's not starting a house that matters now. It is completing the house that matters. Let us see how she or he will complete that building. But because you, you are, you are, you are, you are using ordinary eye to do masculinity, you will now be doing things casually. You can just die casual death. How many people just completed their houses and they died? You just finished building a house like this, champ. They'll say, ah, the person is dead. they say, hey, the person has just, finished, just built his house recently. Hey, look at this thing, no. Oh. And some, as they just lay foundation, as they are building the house to the middle, something will happen to them. Then they will not carry their corpse and go and bury in front of that uncompleted building. And some very big house, you see the grave there. All that people are living inside of your house. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. You shall build your house and you will live in it. Your children, 
They will build their houses and they will live in it. And enemies will not inherit your blessing. These things are possible. Look at this guy that just died three days ago. He's one of my best actors. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Hyacinta. Thank you so much for the super show. God bless you. This guy just finished, completed his house, I think last year. L um, late last year. Or this January. Because I used to see his host. And he was posting his um, building, his house. He has three sons. And a very beautiful young wife. And he's a young man too. From laying of the, from clearing of the bush of the of the the, 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 the site, they were filming it, drawing line and then laying the foundation, digging the ground. They were filming it down to how they are molding blocks. They are building the blocks. They are laying the blocks. He will go there with his sons. This one will carry. This one. This one will do like this. You know, they were filming it. This young man struggled, finished that house, and it was on his TikTok page, on social media handles. And look at it now. Three days ago, eh? This guy was swallowed up in a river, just an ordinary river. Mm. On their way back from. Thank you, Velma Cooley. Thank you so much for the super chat. On their way back from uh, their, from a uh, movie, they went to shoot video, you know, film. They were coming back from the location. He was inside the boat and he was even making call. Oh, please, oh, do it small, small. Oh. I am uh, I'm the only child of my parents oh, and uh, I have three sons. I am the one telling them, please, please, I want to be alive. And Justina Eden, thank you, thank you. Wow, she super chatted me in Naira. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yes. So you see, no. That young guy just died like that. For those who know him, Junior JP Pope Pope Junior at the JP Vivian. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chats. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you. Yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate. It. Yes, you see. This young man finished his house. I think it was even in December or January this year. December last year or January this year. Because the house is very new. And he said, hmm, he was going to church recently. He dressed up him and his family. And the caption of it is that the devil has been making me to feel lazy. You know, I have not been. I can't remember when last I went to church. I will put the devil to shame today. And him and his family were going to church. They filmed themselves and they went to church to worship God. Adeola, thank you so much for the super share. God bless you. This young man died a banza. The enemy killed him. People thought it's that river. It's not the river. It is not just it's not just accident. Mm -mm. Some people, they are enemies from your family. They have organized themselves. They have stationed themselves to see that you don't enjoy your glory. When you achieve something, they want to remove you from They want to... Re a young guy from my mother's village also died the same way. He built a house for his mom, and then the mother moved into that house, and he started building his own flat. But... We went there to greet the mother because there was a time I came home and my mom said I must follow her to her village. So we went to her village and my mom wanted me to tell her if you go to her village, she must take you around the whole mother that is in that place. 
she will from one place to the other, one house to the other, one house to the other. Mm. So we went to this compound, and my mother was praising the sun. I said, hey, look at it. Hey, God is wonderful. Look at this one. The sun has built this house for her. She has moved into it. And the woman was sitting on the mat, very gentle woman. And then uh, my mother was now pointing at the flat that they were, they were laying the, they were building. You know, it has now got into lintel level. But they have brought out the windows, the doors, everything is showing, you know. Hey, <laughs> hey. He didn't get to a little level up. The guy is in Abuja. Just like that, he was just standing by the road. If they could just clear him. And he died on the spot. And they brought his corpse home. And they buried him right in front of that, his uncompleted children. When I'm talking to you, I'm talking from practical, from experience. Your enemies are not resting. You, why are you resting? Some of you say, I'm living in Lagos. Hey, hey, I'm in the town. In fact, I live in Lekki. You have security from the gate, from this, from that, from that. You have to have the security code before you can assess. Even witches and wizards from my village, they cannot assess me. One woman once told me that uh, I live in Italy. They cannot get me here. Oh, may the Lord forget that thing. Witches and wizards cannot find me here. I'm in Italy. I'm not being in Nigeria. I say, hey, my sister, you need to go to school. It's one thing for you to go and learn ABCD. It's another thing for you to learn spirituality. You should have knowledge so that the enemy will not just kill you like chicken. You will not just die like small, small, tiny objects. That is why if your husband is not praying, you should pray for your husband. If your children are not praying, pray for them. Prayer is a seed. Be vigilant. Be prayerful. Very small prayer like this goes a long way to defeat your enemy. They are there, they are, they are making their incantations. And you, you are here, you are using early morning urine to shower yourself. Add it a little to your water, it becomes very potent. You will shower. Whatever it is they are throwing at you, you wash it off. You are going, you are brand new, you are renewed. You go to the office, they recognize you. Anywhere you go, they do things with you. You do business, people patronize you. You see sicknesses, accident, will not look at you. Yes. You think it's by wisdom that you don't have accidents. It's not by wisdom. I have seen a car that somersaulted on a very clean double lane. In fact, four lanes. Two lanes here, two lanes the other side. And even the shoulder is also another lane. I can say three lanes, six lanes. Three here, three here. And it, the road is flat, straight. But a car somersaulted and turned into biscuits. Yeah? Just like that. Let me tell you what happened. At times, when you are driving, enemies can appear in front of you in form of a mountain, a big rock. And then you begin to, to try to dodge it. Or an animal will just appear before you in the front of your car. Instead of marching brake, you will march accelerator. And you will speed into that thing. And because that animal you saw, or that rock that you are seeing, is not a normal rock. It will so hit your car and somersault it. And when people come to that place, they will begin to wonder, what, what, did, what hit this car? How did this car? Was it an, a head-on collision? Where is the second car? Where is the, you know, if there is a head-on collision, two vehicles, you see them damage Abby. But in this one, only your own car, you see it damaged beyond recognition. Because a power, an arrow has hit it. So, why would you not pray? You need to pray. This early morning, you know, it goes a long way. Some of you, when you go to your place of work, your your guy, your boss will hate you. They don't want to see you. They are planning for you. 
they have evil mind for you. But at times, some things may happen in your place of work. Our time used to expire in a certain place. When your time expires and God is about to move you to another place, He can make you to lose your job in that place. You see? Somebody is saying that uh, Shukudi is saying on Saturday, Wednesday, that is this last week, Wednesday, a car fell into the ocean. That is this week, Wednesday, now this week, ocean at Todd Mainland Bridge, Lagos. That is on top of Teku, on top of ocean. Todd Mainland Bridge has protector by the side so for a car to drive and come and jump over this thing and then fall in fall into teku teku means ocean fall into that water yeah the driver is gone the car is gone you think it's normal <laughs> As the, as the car is coming like this, the principality from the father's house or from his office or his business place can come like this and appear in front of just carry the car, boom. And then people just see that the car jumped into the, the ocean. They don't know that a, an evil power has lifted the car and threw it inside the river, the ocean, not river, ocean. So, Things are happening, you should not take it on face value. It could happen to anybody. Yes. I when I heard of this guy's death, I just I felt so much pain. Because I like him a lot. He he I like the roles that he played in movies. And he looks like that role. He looks very strong and agile. And he knows how to represent or present his script very well. Very young person with his lovely family. They say, hey, you have finished the house. Hey, you are showing the house online. You have, you think you have. Let's see how you will live inside now. It's, it's, it's not to go to school. Going to school is not the, the, the this thing, but come and use the certificate. Let us see. Yes. They say, ah, the son is studying medicine. Eh, Baba doctor, mama doctor. When they turn from your this thing, they'll say, that's her. The son is studying medicine. Let us see how that boy will come and use the certificate. We are here. We are here. <laughs> so now you you only you don't learn knowledge of spirituality. You don't learn anything. And you are there clapping hands. Prayer is the king. Prayer is the king. Prayer is the master king. When you finish saying prayer is the master king and you finish praying, when you go to bed, you see somebody is pursuing your son with cutlass. And then your son is running. Mama, 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 mama. And your son will fall down. And the person will begin to match at your son. Pia, pia, pia. In the dream, you wake up. And you say, hey, hey, what kind of dream is this? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Thank God it's a dream. Oh. Thank God it's a dream. Oh. <laughs> eh? You dream. You see somebody carry broom and is chasing your wife. Or carry broom and chasing your husband. The breadwinner of the family. He's chasing your husband, kitty, kitty, kitty. You are the one that saw it. 
Your husband is there lying down and sleeping, maybe snoring, I say. He will not even know. But you, God has revealed to you. Look, oh, the enemy is after your husband. Somebody carry broom. And he's chasing your husband. Kitty, 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 kitty. Or maybe cutlass. Or cane. Or a masquerade. Or, an, or a police uniform person. Or soldier uniform. Chasing your husband. And your husband will be running. It will come to a point your husband will just fall down. And the person will be standing over your husband like this. Or they will just catch your husband. Put his hand behind his back. And then be walk, pushing him and be walking him away. You wake up. It's a dream. You say, hey, hey, hey. Ah, okay, okay. You don't see your husband lying down. And you say, ah, thank God it's a dream. Oh. Hey, thank God it's a dream. Oh. Ah. Then you call your, your, maybe your spiritual leader in your church, your pastor. And then you say, pastor, the dream I had today. It's not good though. I had a dream. Something happened to my husband away, carrying him. So oh, no problem. That is not a problem. Where is your husband? I say he has gone to his place of business. You say, go. Eh, no problem. All those ones are the they are lies from the pit of hell. You are covered from this ministry. As long as your husband is sowing seed and you are sowing, go before that altar, go and put a good strong seed there put put a seed and let the seed intercede on your behalf that is if you are in a wrong environment seed cannot intercede on your behalf no you yourself god showed it to you so that you can pray about it at that time, remember I told us here that anytime you wake up like this from your sleep and you remember your dream, even before you put your leg down, maintain that same position if you remember it on bed. But if you don't remember it while you are lying down, when you wake up and you remember, whatever you're doing at that moment, just say, Father, I cancel every negative implication of these dreams I had today with the blood of Jesus whatever the enemy is projecting into my life into the life of my husband my children i cancel it and neutralize it with the blood of jesus and it shall be so yes it shall be so but if you allow it to stay three days three days seven days 14 days 21 days that thing that you saw in that dream must happen in the physical before you start looking for solution. So, how do you go about this? Guys, remember to super chat me. Yeah? Remember to super chat. Some of you have forgotten. Maria Tongwani. Yes, so. They will not leave you in peace until you do something about them. Yes. <clears throat> so, when you use this early morning urine, it will go a long way to neutralize it. If you are an, if you are a prayer minister, and they they in, they happen to invite you to any place, that container, that water you are carrying, you say you call it holy water or whatever or anointing. Anointing oil, you carry anointing oil, good and fine. But also carry anointing urine inside the bottle. I'm telling you this. <laughs> See, there are power and there are powers. There is knowledge, there are knowledge. There are knowledge, knowledges, Abby, and there is a knowledge, a knowledge. You need to have an understanding so that Whatever it is that they're inviting you to go and pray over, you should be able to defeat that enemy. Let me tell you guys one story. A man, some group of um, arm robbers, not arm robbers, um, kidnappers. Yes, they are kidnappers. 
they went to steal one imam in my local government, in Ampa local government, Kogi. Yes. He, he, they went there to kidnap that, that imam from one of the villages. So, when they came, when they entered his living room, she was sitting down on his chair. So, they fired three shots at him, three bullets. Pa, pa, pa. The, the imam was looking like this, and the thing fell off. <laughs> yeah. So now, the imam has anti bullet in his blood, like the anti bullet that we are selling. We also have the ring one, anti bullet ring. We have it. You can put it in your pocket, you can put it in your handbag, as long as you're carrying it. And then the powdered one, you would drink it with custard or pap. That one is inside your body. You are a policewoman. You are a, 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 an army officer. Your husband is a first man. And you are watching this video without buying this thing for your husband. Please, try and get it for your husband. This one, nothing can destroy it. The life of your husband is, the moment he signed and became a, a soldier and became uh, a, a, a police, or all these false people, even road safety, you don't know that road safety has a lot of enemy. You don't know, road safety officers in Nigeria, yeah, they have more enemies than soldiers, if you don't know. Road safety, road safety officer, their uniform is the same color. If one vex you from Kogi, Eh? When you see another one in Abuja, you say, look at them, look at them. You see another one in Portacourt or in Lagos Street, you say, look at them, look at them. Road safety officers, they have more enemies. If you don't know, you should know now. They say, yeah, you know, we, we are just road safety officers. We don't carry gun, you know, like we don't use gun, so we don't have any need for gun. You don't know that enemy can just drive because you have relayed somebody, you have, you have, you have vexed somebody. Because of your scrutiny, you say where is the uh, NAFDAQ number of this car? Road safety officer will ask him, what is the uh, date of birth of this car? Who was the first man that drove this car? How did you get this car? What are you doing for a living? It has crossed their line. No, they'll be asking you this question just to delay you. They've done that to me before. Eh. Uh, Road safety officer will bend down and look at your, 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 your tires and say, this tire has expired. You, ma, you will come down and come and bend down and look at the tire by yourself. He you say, ah, oh, no, this is it expired uh, best before uh, 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 January, February, um, June 2024. But we are still in, in April. He will say, yes, yes. Uh, April, what is the difference between... Uh, uh, um, April and June. Your, your, your tire has expired. Tire used to expire six months before the expiring date. So therefore, you are following up to the station. Yes. They will carry, they will collect your driver's license and then they will walk away. Maybe you have 30 minutes to meet with bank before they close the bank uh, uh, gate. You will be like on fire. So therefore, if your husband is a road safety officer, and you have not bought this articulate this thing, please buy for him. So that one day somebody will not come and do tatata -ta -ta and pass away and, and just drive off. Uh, I'm talking from experience, please. If but if you are a criminal, it will not work for you. Uh, so but if you are a law abiding, you are an officer, you are serving your nation. Or you live in a country where your life is in danger, get the anti bullet powder or get the ring. Wear it, protect yourself. But if you are an arm robber, it will not work for you. I've said it right from the beginning. So, this one is the bracelet. This is our new blue eyes bracelet. And this one is our good luck uh, bracelet. You know, it's now very, very wearable. So, Anywhere you can enter with this. Is it not looking sexy? We also have the black one. 
the black one is for protection. So imagine now you add the three together. It will look very nice and dressy. Yes. So, get it. So now, going back to what I was saying. Spiritual protection. Luna Watana. <laughs> Sarah Sunshine. Ah, I like this your name. Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Joseph, Michela. Long time. Ewulu. Yes, now you can use both the ring and the and the you can use both the ring and the powder at the same time. The powder you just take it once, you take it for three times. Just one container is enough. It's for life. Oh God. You will not understand what you are getting. Okay. It does not have any negative um uh, implication. Auntie Amot, sorry, I wanted to call you, but I was so busy. Sorry, I'll give you a call, okay? <laughs> it's been a while, yeah. So, this Auntie Bullet, a woman called us from the US, and she gave us her testimony. Even sent us pictures of how she was, she, she took it, yes, she bought it from us, she took it. And on this faithful day, she went to the supermarket to go and buy some things. It's like uh, this is their big mall. Florence, oh, there you hear me. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. You see, when she came out, you know, we women now, you know us, we can easily catch up with some update on our phones while we, before we do something. So this one just came with her things, entered the car sat down and then she was now going through her phone to adjust some things or whatever then she started hearing ta 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 ta, ta. people were just lying down somewhere falling you know like ah then she now look before you know it all a man a man went by sec and came with gone and was just throwing bullet flying bullet everywhere that car she was her car that she was sitting inside the whole glasses were gone the car was just the frame it's only the frame and the the, the 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 particles of the glasses that fell over her body and everywhere as she was sitting down people now came and said madam were you in this car she said yes oh i was here oh. i was here oh. made the loco made the loco made the loco <laughs> you know like <laughs> she was perplexed yes that is practical aspect are you talking about that man that was kidnapped in abuja he sent us his testimony by his business partners yes they kidnapped him and took him somewhere very early in the morning he was one of our, one of our first customers that, that bought this uh, anti-bullet powder he didn't even buy this the powder this man, they started demanding money from him. The, 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 the business, the money has not arrived. They have not made payment. But the person that is involved with him, want to, he was thinking that this guy wants to double cross him. So they now kidnap him. I want to collect more money than what the business is worth. He said they have not paid. They don't have any money. He said that they were requesting for money that he has never seen even inside his dream. Ah, then that's okay. Waste him. You already know us. Waste him. They went back, shifted back, and opened fire. When they, when the guy was shifting back and pointing, aiming the gun at him, he just used his hand to cover his head like this. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, and they were doing ta 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 ta. Ah, the, no, it's not ta ta ta. The guy did pa. You know, like first shot, the thing fell to the ground. Pa again, pa again, three times. Hey, hey. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. God bless you. Thank you so much for the super chat, Junior. Okereke, you super chatted me. All right, God bless you. Yes, so 
yes somebody is saying i remember the testimony yes so the 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 the, the man they now dropped their gun they threw their gun on the floor and ran for their life because they don't understand why the gun was not entering him you know it's like they it's like you are using your aiming ak-47 at a very close range to somebody and yet it was falling to the ground but the bullet is falling on the ground okay that was it they ran and the man has to take off and look for how to save his life he gave us sent us his testimony back then that was in 2021 or so or early 2022 now this imam that i was telling you guys about this imam they were shooting him it was not going so another one said ah, give me he don't know how to shoot he just passed the gun under his leg you know like if somebody is carrying a small small or this small small uh, charm i call it small small because spirituality has level yes there are some you cannot break he just said, ah, you know, he just pass the gun under his leg like this and then, oh yeah, move back and aim again. The whole thing, he fell to the floor. The imam now said, people will not live here today. Tell me who sent you. They tried to move him. They, they, they tried to move him, like to carry him. They cannot carry him. They, they, he became very heavy, like, like, um, a rock that has been planted on the ground. He's a human being, but you cannot move him. You cannot lift him. He's so heavy. So, he now said, my children, you cannot live here today. Who sent you people? Because I know you are not here on your own volition. Somebody sent you. They became afraid. He now said, hey, you. You at the door. Move in or move out, and let's see. The guy shifted, wanted to shift back. He cannot move. He wanted to come forward. He cannot move. His legs were come to the ground. He said, this is what is going to be the fate of all of you if you don't tell me who brought you. <laughs> hey, why am I telling you this story? Is that you cannot do use ordinary eye to do masquerade. You need to pray. But you don't have to go extra mile. Simple things can do this. That thing in his mouth that he's using to talk, to command them, I know what it is. But the procedure of putting those herbs together and making that thing available. I even have the intention of talking to us because some people are using this power. Yes, some people are using this power to command thieves to bring the gun. Oh yeah, give me that gun now. Give it to me. Oh yeah, drop it here, and they will drop it. Give it to me, and they will give it to them. Their body is shaking. Why are you leave the place? Like you are driving on the road now, and I'm robber. Come and put a, a blockade on the road and they come out from the bush hey come down come down your life or your money this and that if you have that in your mouth you can say hey you boys what are you doing there remove this stick remove these stones from the road let me pass you are still standing there what what this thing now <laughs> thank you thank you thank you and nick media channel thank you god bless you yes you see when you begin to speak this thing, you see that they will respond. Imagine now, you are, you are you have a congregation, you are a pastor, and you now say as some thieves came to 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 do this and do that, and then you say, give me that gun, you give it to you. You think the person is talking with ordinary mouth. It's power. And it's just herbs. There are some herbs you put together. Yes. Through a procedure. Then. You will now. 
um, burn it together with um, axe, 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 uh, iron. You know, you know, iron, you know, axe. This axe they are using to chop firewood. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yes. That axe they are using to chop firewood, like to break fire, firewood. All those people that are selling firewood, that axe they are using. The iron. Okay. So now, they burn these herbs through a, 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 some spiritual command. Then, put this axe in the center. Burn it standing up. Or it just burn it lying down inside the, the pot. When it becomes red. Doris, there is you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. God bless you. When it becomes very red, then these same herbs that they have used to burn this thing, they squeeze the same thing inside water and use it and give it to you to, to rinse your mouth with it and then wash your face. You rinse your mouth, you wash your face. Then you are going to use your teeth. They will stand the axe, the red hot, blazing red hot axe. They will stand it up and you will bend down to carry it. Carry the axe with your teeth and drop it inside water. If you bring your face closer to the fire and you're feeling hot, it means that thing is not working. If you, if you put your teeth on the ass and want to carry it and it's burning you and you remove your mouth, it means it's not going to work for you. Because that thing they give you to rinse your mouth and then wash your face, it's like it, it will protect you from feeling the hotness. So once you carry it and drop it inside water and it will just cool down. Go. You will see some of them with that mouth. They'll say, kneel down, get down on your knees. And you see a very big, hefty man will go down on his knees. Oh yeah, stop me. Begin to roll. Things like that. As I'm talking to you now, did I call any shrine? No. This is Habba. Habs is a spirit. You can talk to it. You can do so many things with it. God has already, like the alligator pepper that you know, it's only alligator pepper that you know. There are so many things that you don't know. Yes. So, gradually, like I said, we'll be growing in this place. I'll be learning some things. Like now, if you are somebody that travel a lot on the road, or somebody who is into um, all those uh, ministries, uh, those ones that used to command demon, this and that, they are the ones that used to use it. They are the ones that used to use that type of power. Mm. They use that power and it has been working. The power of the alligator pepper is when you can use negro pepper. Do you know negro pepper? Tina has a grains of saline. That long one. Negro pepper. You can, if you don't see alligator pepper, it's on but Alligator pepper is different. And negro pepper also is very powerful. It's also different. Okay? So if you don't have alligator pepper, you can order it from us. We'll send it to you. Yes. So that imam that I was telling you, the those boys, they say, ah, it's also a person that sent us so he said you have children in the town that uh, your children are in Abuja, they are in Lagos, they are in Portaco, they have plenty of money, and they said that we should bring you. When we we'll capture you, we'll kidnap you, you will, your children will bring money. That is why he said we should come and carry you. His name is so so person. He now called the name of the guy. A guy that they accompany is next to his own compound, a son of somebody. And before I know it, the vigilante, the police, so they swung into action. And that guy, it's like somebody called him and then him and his wife, they ran. 
So, he, the imam said they should leave these ones. But he told them, he said, see, I speak to you with power today. Any day you do this kidnapping thing again, or you do armed robbery, you will die. So go and do anything legitimate. You now ask the police to leave them. Let them go. But that son of that man, he will continue to be a fugitive for the rest of his life. Any day he comes back to that time, they will arrest him and they will execute him immediately. In my place, even if you still this, um, let me show you. This is a pouch. Janine, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. God bless you. This is a foam pouch, right? You steal this thing like this. Eh? Not a phone, no, not phone, no. You steal foam pouch like this and they catch you. You'll be executed. You'll be executed. Yes. They call them a papo. And if you are a notorious thief, your name is on their list. They will be looking for you. They used to even go to Abuja and arrest thieves, robbers, kidnappers. So once your name entered their list, that is it. So in my, in, uh, in my place now, you can keep whatever outside and go and sleep and come back and meet it. Nobody will carry it. Everybody is afraid. Because they just catch you like this, they will drive you, they will ask, they will tell your people, come to social junction and pick the cops of your son or of your whatever. <laughs> so that is that though. You see, the reason why I'm teaching you about early money, you know, we have talked about it several times. But you see, Ido wa karena no one de keke gani kulem. Meaning, whose eyes, who do, who do you disrespect or who do you devalue? Is the person or the face of the person that you see on regularly? And what kind of information do you devalue? Is that information that you hear regularly? But you see, when somebody explains something to you deeply, you will see the need to do it. So, you will look at the repercussion and the benefit of that thing before you do it. So, your own urine, don't use your urine to bait your children. Don't put your urine on inside bathing water for your husband. Yes, don't use your urine for your children, but you can use your urine for yourself. Let the person use his or her own urine for herself or himself. It has repercussion. When, when you use your urine on your children, when they grow, they will not be able to exceed certain limits. They will be struggling with life. Then, if they are lucky, somebody will say, Ah, here, push your gather here. Something happened many years ago. Eh? Your mother used her urine to bait all of you when she was alive. And now that thing has brought a curse upon you people. That is why you are not progressing. Or maybe you are still alive. And your children, your son will apply for visa to Canada. They deny him. Apply for visa to America. They deny him. Apply for visa for to Turkey, they will deny. Your son will smuggle himself to Spain, they will deport him. Your daughter will go to UK from the airport, they will deport her. Then you begin to wonder, what is happening to my children? The one in school, one is at home writing jam. This is the sixth time you cannot get the cutoff point. Eh? Your daughter is 35 years, is 39 years now. Nobody has ever said, hello, girl, how are you? And you begin to wonder what is happening. Your son is 48 years. He's not married. He doesn't even have a stable job. 
all of them are living under your roof. Something strong. So, some of these things, I'm talking about 20 years, 30 years from now. Some of us may still be alive. Some of us may be dead and gone. And then our children will be at that level. And then they will be like, ha, huh, my mother once learned something online. No? They say, bait your children with your urine. She used her urine to bait us. And the prophet is telling us that our mother used her urine to bait us. That's why we are having this problem. Now, what is the solution? The man will say, go and read Psalm, Psalm 20. Uh -huh. And then read Deuteronomy from verse 1, from uh, chapter, uh, chapter 1 to, to 15. Then also read, read the book of Samuel. First book of Samuel and second book of Samuel. And then you are to fast for 27 days without eating. Dry fasting for 27 days. Remember, this is a very, def very difficult task. You know what your mother did was very bad. So you people have to fast. You have to do this thing. And then don't eat. Don't talk to anybody. And then remain indoors. Then, by the time you are going through all this, by the time you, you if you are able to do this, you read the book of Samuel, first book of Samuel, second book of Samuel. Then you now read the Deuteronomy from chapter 1 to 10. And then uh, you give you different, different verses. And then you pray seven times a day, every three, three hours, or every four, four or five, five hours. You pray and then uh, continue to do this, continue to do that. You do it. So why should you subject your children to this kind of problem? Don't. Don't try it. Mm. So, thank you so much. Ha. Huh. You can give it a trial. Somebody is asking, can monthly cleansing take care of um, problem delivered children from the, that, the, that had that kind of problem? Well, you can give it a trial. And as for the monthly cleansing, the month of April list is open. The registration is on. You can register for monthly cleansing. Send us your name. Somebody was asking me last time, what is a monthly cleansing? Faustina Adu. Yes, I can see you. Thank you. You are welcome. Innocent Agbo. Yes. You are welcome. Ngomba Andrew. You are welcome. Tina Az. Yes. Some people are doing that. Veronix. You are welcome. Mm. You will get your job, okay? You will. The exam akude, you're welcome. So, monthly cleansing takes care of any evil thing that has been done against you. Arrow, attacks. At times, somebody at times, some of us, the problem we are having is buried under the ground. Some of us, the problem we are having is nailed to a tree in the forest. And they continue to say, as long as the wind is blowing this thing, and this thing is hanging in this tree, you will never get solution to your problem. But the day this thing cuts and falls down, then the power will be broken. So, your enemies... They are using all manner of things. Some of them, they use animal horns. Some of them, they use padlock. They, they use chains. Yes. They do all these things. They, some, they throw it into the river. They throw it into the, into the uh, well. To the, to the 
a dungeon like it like um bola dust bean waste bean or what they call it bola mm -hmm. <laughs> you know me i didn't go to school i don't know how they call it though eh uh, that that hip hip place where they used to uh, throw dirty things they will go and bury it there or throw it there according to the instruction some they'll throw it into latrine when i started working this made the lock newly. A lady called me here. And during consultation, she booked for consultation. I was looking into her case. And what I saw was that something was done against her by a man that is, that is dark and thick. The man is, is not very tall, but he's not a short man. He's, but he's thick, like he has muscles, black. So this man did something and wrote her name and put it inside that thing and tie it and throw it into a pit toilet and this lady she is having serious body odor yes whether she baffle she put to a roll on or wear perfume she said her closet is full of designer perfumes chanel gucci tom ford all this type of all these big big uh, names in perfume she uses spray she uses the oil she uses the vaporizer uh, vaporizer by all the perfume all the toilet uh, different types of them but she's still stinking i say you're stinking it's not because you are dirty it's not because what you are using are not working but because it is the, the smell is a spirit that has been fired is following you both herself and her daughter. She was talking about herself alone. I said, even your daughter is having the same problem. She shouted. He said, yes, it's true, it's true. My daughter is having the same problem now in class. They have given her a separate seat. She was crying. She said, I described this man for her. She said, ah, I know this man. This man is a Yoruba guy that we met in germany then we started dating and we moved to uk with him so this guy was trying to leave off me he doesn't want to do any other thing this lady i'm talking about is not in nigeria yes so she fell in love with this guy but while she's at work because she's a nurse while she's at work this man that is not working is now polluting the mind of her little teenage daughter right from the age of 16 17 this guy started polluting the heart of this small girl and it came to a point he started having knowledge of both of them so when the mother discovered her heart was broken she was crying she said i was weeping how can you destroy my daughter like this? How can you do this to us? You are dating me and then you are spoiling my daughter on my behalf. I will not call the law on you, but I don't want to have anything to do with you again. And this lady was very industrious. She was very supportive. This guy was extremely comfortable. That is why he doesn't want to do his own job. You understand? You have to be comfortable to a point not to work in, in England, in London, or in uh, all these uh, Yibo country. Because you must work for it to survive. It's not, that, it's not a place for a lazy person. But if you have somebody who is supplying your needs, eh, you will sit here, you sit at home. Mm -hmm. Somebody, you will do a hair with her at night, and you do a hair with the daughter in the afternoon. So when the mother now raised alarm, the guy now started threatening her life. He said, if you joke with me, I am going to so deal with you that you will regret ever knowing me. And I will make sure, both you and your daughter, no man will prize you again. The lady said, please pack your things and leave my house. Just leave my life. Leave my life. And the guy just packed his bag. And he looked at her and said, you will regret this. I'm going to teach you a lesson you will never forget. She said, Made the Lord, that was the only thing this guy said to me, and he left. So I was looking at him and said, what can you do? What can you do? 
I get out of my life. Thank God my daughter is not pregnant for you. So please leave, leave, leave. And he left. She thought life is plain, is flat. This Babala old guy, they managed to go to Europe and move to London. He's carrying his automobile inside his bag. You don't know. Some people have something that they talk to. Yes, they'll carry something like this now. Eh? And say, this thing now may be something. It will be inside their bag. They'll bring it out. Then they'll do whatever they want to do for it. Some, that thing, may be drinking a, a um, schnapp or dry gin. They'll pour it on it. And then they'll call, that thing has me, they'll call it, call the name. And say, listen to me. So, 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 person. And her daughter, so, 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 name. Let this, let that, let this, let that happen to them. So now, he will finish talking to this thing. And then put it back in his bag. The spirit that is resident inside this thing will go and carry out that assignment. So, if you happen to register for monthly cleansing, that thing that is inside his bag, that is moving around, that is using it to cause mayhem in people's life and in your life, that thing, this thing will be recalled. The spirit will come out yes and at times when you register at the end of the uh, uh, um, the cleansing process i used to snap some pictures and forward to the group for you to see what it is so that thing will stop working let him go and think of another one so if your uncle has an altar and he's talking to it calling your name to it they have, they have done something against you before you know. Somebody has told you. But there's nothing they can do. But they can only tell you, but they cannot do something about it. We, we don't talk about what we cannot do in this place. We'll tell you what we can do. And we we'll look for what to do about it. Because we believe that every problem has a solution to it. So, we recall these things. So, if you register for monthly cleansing, your enemies are in trouble. Because... Some of them, they will lose their power because of you. That thing that they are doing will stop serving, will stop working. And once it stops working, they cannot use it to do anything again. They have to look for another thing. Yes. So, that is what monthly cleansing does. So if there is anybody here that does not understand monthly cleansing, I just explained it in a very small way for you to understand. Nkweta, Nveta, you're welcome. <clears throat> hey, your hands are small. Reduce it now. Reduce it. If, if your bracelet is too big, the reason why we make them medium size moderate size for everybody because some people they have big hand some people they have tiny hands some people they have average hand you know so if your hand is big you can wear it if your hand is small you just reduce it and keep the remaining you can reduce it you can break it and re rearrange it again according to your size and keep the remaining bits yes because it's high fortified like i said this one you can go to toilet with it you can you can lie down with it you can sleep with it yes the, that fortification class that we put on it before that we say you cannot go to toilet with it uh, this and that is that one is, we remove it because i want something that is simple that anybody can use mm. it's all right jaffet he said you register his children for the monthly cleanse yes you can register your children for it because at times the enemy will they will be trying you they cannot get you they will start attacking your children some of them um you you have four children you have three children you have one son one child and then that your child the picture or the name is before an altar and you are living in america 
you are living in london you are living in germany or in uh, india and then you you say ah my son was born here my son has nothing to do with these people they cannot even see him my son is far away you know he's an evil child <laughs> yeah and you went and built mansion in your village you don't know that is the number one reason why they should attack all your children you have some you have a life it's a reason for them to attack your children so that none of your children will become anything important so that they cannot challenge them you see the reason why you should pray for your children one thing they don't understand is that your children can never stoop low to go and be fighting for land in local places with people but yet they will be attacking your children so that they will be they will make their life useless you see that your, your son will start smoking all of a sudden your son will be taking uh, um, uh, uh, drinking uh, all sorts of things and they will be misbehaving this is why we are even selling a mental hub now the mental mental health uh, hub is for anybody and for those who are smoking and drinking something and it's now tempering with their reasoning faculty you can also take it yes um a brother gave me his testimony last time he's worthy of mentioning here the son graduated he was born and brought up in america and the son went to school first degree that is college right did masters did phd four years no job in america phd hmm. one day he has i have known him for a long time he has never spoken to me about his son before but when the team passed be careful he said let the look i have something i want to discuss with you i'm worried about something i said what is that he said not my son this 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 look at what is happening First and foremost, he sent his money for his consultation first, even before he started talking to me. Uh, so I will have sense. They, they are very, very understanding. Just send money for consultation before you, you know, like. <laughs> so, I said, okay, don't worry. Let me look into the matter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah. Uh, the son, first degree master's degree phd all the certificates they are in nigeria here and is on top of it's under a woman's she seat in the coven and they are sitting on top of it i called him in the afternoon i don't do consultation i'll do it in the night but i called him in the afternoon i said see look at what is happening you know your son his document where are his documents he said, they're here with him he applied he has applied to several places Nobody is calling him. No one has ever invited him for interview. I say it's because the papers are not with him. The documents are not with him. His documents are here under the bomb bomb of a woman that is like a sister to you. Hey. The guy said, by the luck, I feel like traveling. I feel like traveling. I need to buy a gun. I say, ah, you see, <laughs> you don't need physical gun. That problem can be solved. You see, can this one be solved? My son was born and, born and brought up in America. Eh? Well, why should somebody do this to me? I said, don't worry, calm down. First and foremost, we did cleansing. We drew that his document that has been taken in the realm of the spirit. And then did a spiritual something for him. And I said, tell your son to go and apply. Let him reapply again. As I'm talking to you, a prestigious university in America has given his son a job. Yes. He started last month, March. This is the recent thing I'm telling you. And then, the son has about eight interviews lined up for him. For Stina Adu, thank you, thank you for the super chat interview this is somebody for 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 four years he has been looking for a job nobody invited him for interview but now he's a lecturer in a prestigious university in america that is number one and then other companies 
now they have laid up interviews for him. He said, hey, now I'm confused. Oh. I don't know why they are calling everybody. He's calling my son left and right. I say, yes, his doors has been opened. They shut the door against him before. Now it's open. Mm. So now this is your real son. Yes. So let him attend all the interviews. And then select the one that pays better. That's not the father. He has started this one. Tell him to keep working with the university. But he should attend these interviews. Anyone that pays better, we will look at them again. And see the one that will not sack him. Because some people, they will just say, they don't employ you this month. After three months, four months, they will sack you. Uh -huh. So we we'll look at the one that is secured. That he will work until he retire or he gets something better. That one is spiritual work and monthly cleanse. Yes. We also have VIP cleansing. VIP cleansing, I only take five people in a month because it's very stressful. And so I hope you understand the concept of cleansing now and the spiritual services that we offer in this place. Yes. <laughs> so. Uh -huh. We have the bag to send her now. Chukudi, you say you need a product that uh, you will take like egg base so that such that any evil arrow will automatically return back to sender. Back to sender. We have back to sender. Yes. In fact, this my small mouth cannot explain what the power in back to sender. Yes. Because as we grow, we improve, we improve, we improve every day. Uh -huh. So that back to sender, and we have, in fact, numerous thousands of testimonies concerning back to sender already. You understand? People, back to sender, people who are mentally ill, they got healed. Somebody who is having sickness that they have given up, they have regained. Arrow, spiritual arrow, has been returned back to sender. So, in fact, back to sender is, is one of our best seller, and you can use it for that. You can use it to bait, and you can also um, take it like tea. Yes, you boil like a teaspoon of it, and then you drink it like tea. You can also boil a tablespoon of it, and use it to, so that it can finish quick. Then you can buy another one. <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> so that you buy uh, so thank you so much um, let me see I want to talk to Asana Comfort Asana Comfort Ngum. don't worry you will get a job mm. you will get a job and you should also try business also try business also you will you will prosper mm. asana pray against household wickedness Giovanna, Giovanna Wade. Giovanna Wade, I please try and use take do garlic bat. Garlic, you know garlic. Put garlic inside water like just take some cloves of garlic and then don't slice it just put them like that inside warm water or hot water then add that hot water inside your baking water use it to beat do this bath every night 
for three days. Do this bath every night for three days. Yes. This is unfriendly friend. Unfriendly friend is planning evil against you. Somebody close to you. Do this. And God will intervene. Um, the enemy will be, will be disappointed. Viz, Viz, Wangang, Wagangi, Wangangi. Uh, if I don't know how to pronounce your name, please take it like that. Though. Sorry, Viz, Wangangi. Mm. Your mother used to have occasional headache. Yes. At times, from the back of her head, like this down to the front from the back of her head down to the front it's not an ordinary headache it's not an ordinary headache see you know um um this they call it a wool Knitting wool, knitting wool. They used to make cardigan. They used to make a cold dress, you know, for cold season, you know, and all that. That knitting something, that trade. Uh -huh. So there is an object that is like a doll that is made of that thing. It has head, it has neck, it has body, it has leg, it has hands like this your mother's name is on that thing it's attached to that thing so whenever there is a pounding they used to pound it inside mother this is an evil mother your mother begin to have this headache and then it just hit her then she begin to feel some other discomfort they are trying to afflict her health yes it's not just her health even you like you said you are being affected see this is a household enemy this is somebody that is is close to you people this is somebody that is a family this is a blood this is a connected family member both of you you are under witchcraft attack so pray against witchcraft attack mm, that is the summary i'll give you concerning mm, that thing i just describe what i saw but in your own case they are not using object to represent you mm -mm. it's just command like are coming out. Onye Ribe, Miriam, you dreamt you were bleeding in your dream. 
Janine. Yes, you can do the the you can do the uh, urine bath with your breakthrough soap. You can even use the spiritual sponge that we have. Yes. You can use the spiritual sponge. This is the spiritual sponge, right? Yeah. Thank you for the super chat in the first place. Thank you so much. This is spiritual sponge. Yes, you can also use it. So, with it, once you soak it inside warm water, hot water, it softens that you can use. Use it for seven days, non-stop, without breaking. Mm, it's very important. Joanne, God will give you a job very soon. Receive that job in Jesus' name. Amen. So. Yes. Dreaming and seeing yourself bleeding from any part of your body is not good. Yes. Is um, But I will advise you to pray against it. Cancel it. Cancel whatever is the spiritual implication of that dream. And turn it to good. And it shall be so. Yes. Linda, Linda, Wabi, oh, Sabi or Wabi, I don't know how to pronounce this, your name, um, you dreamt and you are losing teeth in your dream, to lose your teeth in your dream is like losing your strength, teeth represent strength, so when you dream your teeth is falling off, it's not a good sign. It's, it's, it means you are losing something that makes you a person, that makes you strong. So pray against the attacks of the enemy. And ask for restoration. Yes. Ask for restoration and then cancel the any spiritual implication, any negative implication of that dream. Mm -hmm. Cancel it and it will be so. Nancy, Nancy Oriahi, you see, when you are applying to a place and you are noticing a stagnancy and a delay from that place, God is saying something. So you can also apply to another direction. Because you see, at times when the enemy knows that we are on our path to this place, they go there and stop things. But if you understand that your enemies has laid ambush or laid roadblock in that place, you navigate your way, take another dimension, and they will be surprised. Yes. My younger brother was applying for admission to the university. For eight years. He was he was writing jam for eight years. And we didn't know 
that the certificate he was using to apply, the enemy has already gone ahead of him to take it. So, when I got to know, because I was looking at it that he's too young, he cannot have any enemy, so I didn't even look at the spiritual aspect of it. But when they say, now, now pass, be careful. I say, I come. What and what is your dream life? He said he had a dream. He was going to so-so place. And that was it. I said, okay, now you are going to change your name. There's going to be a reversal. That is changing direction and compass. Abigail Pasima, thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. God bless you. Yes. Efficient. Okane. Okane. Thank you. Peter. Peter Maxwell. You're welcome. So, like as I was saying, when the whole direction was changed, he got admission and waiting results. And he graduated with first class. Federal government of Nigeria gave him scholarship to abroad to study, to do masters in that same field. He read mathematics. He went there and still graduated with first class. You know in abroad they used to class your masters and PhD. Then after that again, an international body came to their school looking for international students that have outstanding performance. And he was the one man standing that has the best results. After him, like now you are on number 90. And then the next number, Linda Sabe, thank you, thank you for the super chat. God bless you. The next person next to him was somebody that was on number 67 or number 57. So they gave him scholarship to do his to sponsor his PhD. And then we say, ah, come back home, come and marry, oh, come and marry. He came back home got married three months or four months there on he went back for his phd and now that same university was looking for admission for eight years the witches and wizards stopped it gave him a job without interview once your way is open all you need to do is to apply wisdom don't stick to that particular way that has been stopped. Stopped. They collected his YEC results. So I say you are going to register another YEC again. Because that one they have collected it. So now you may be applying to Korea. The document and your way to that Korea has been blocked. So you can try another country. Yes, if you must travel out. Then if your heart is with Korea, you can now go to Korea later on. I hope you understand the parable I'm speaking to you. Nancy. Thank you. Tina as it's not good. It's not good if you pray against it. Mm. Pray against it. Vero Veronix. Veronix, they said I should tell you that you have a friend that will poison you yes a friend of yours among your friends one of them 
is going to poison you through drink through food or through ring jewelry jewelry i'm hearing jewelry it's not just ring alone it could be a ring it could be necklace you don't know they can poison somebody through things like this that you hear just the same way they can anoint your necklace your earring for favor the same way so we are even going to do practical very soon i'm going to show you something mm, we are going to do practical you will see it maybe maybe in our next video in, in our next live video or maybe in my recorded video i may do it on my regular normal upload because you guys don't used to watch my normal upload that's why i don't used to upload video like that again and all the old ones that have uploaded that you people didn't see because you are not watching it you see come and be asking me patient now i'm re-uploading them again the one that has the lowest view i'll upload them again so that more people can learn you see so please try to share my video try to share my video with other people when you watch it and share it on your platform other people will look at it and then it will encourage me that people are watching my video you're not paying me anything for for the video i'm doing at least watch it and learn something okay so veronix vera vera nix and he said i should warn you you trust too much stop trusting your life is like this like a rope like this somebody a lady will poison you so be careful okay don't leave an open drink and come back to it later mm -mm. and don't allow people to have too much access to your to your fridge your food food and when you go out anywhere watch what you are drinking watch what you are eating okay don't admire rings this is our business ring yes this is our business ring you can order it it doesn't pigment your hands you know, some people will be, one, will be afraid they don't like wearing something that will give them color you know that will make your hand black and all that no it doesn't pigment your hand it's so um earring jewelry they may give you a, um, a, a a present a gift you don't know that that gift is laced with something when you wear it you start having issues so be contented with what you have for now for security reasons am i communicating i want you to be here by end of this year this thing i'm talking to you is very close so i want you to be around so that you can wish me happy birthday in december because my birthday is in december yes junior okereke junior okereke if you in your heart want to travel abroad receive the grace in jesus name and let the will of god be done concerning you okay you will have it just having a positive prayer a positive desire a positive mindset and god will fulfill it guys please super chat me now i have a target of 350 what I have here is 275. Super chat. 350. The difference between 275 and 350, I think it's $65, I think. Please, super chat me. 
Thank you. Osas. Osas. You have an X. Mm. You have an ex, someone that you have dated in the past. There are some things that left you that followed the person. I, I know you'll be wondering, be saying, ah, I had so many uh, exes now. Uh, which one is she talking about? This one I'm talking about is is in between. It's not black. It's not fair. It's in between. Complexion. Mm. You see, something left you. Something was taken from your body by the principalities that were following the person. Mm. But you see now that the person is your ex, it's a deliverance unto you. So if you have any plans to go back to any of your exes or your ex, please think twice again. Okay? So forge your head and pray for restoration of virtue that was that has been taken away from your life this thing is affecting your breakthrough in so many other areas of life it's affecting you it's causing you stagnation it's causing you this um, leveling your 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 blessing your growth is not in the way that you want you're always below target you have a target every human being has a target you want to achieve this you want to achieve that within a certain period of time but you see yourself going down that thing that was taken away from you by reason of that relationship Ask for the restoration of that because I'm seeing it is still there. They're not using it for anything. It's just a punishment for farming in a, in a land that is not yours. Grazing in a field that does not belong to you. Yes, it's a punishment. But ask, ask God for mercy, number one. Ask God for pray for mercy. Then confess your sin. Repent of your sin. Ask God for mercy. And then ask God to restore any virtue, anything, any of your glory, any of your blessing that has been stolen from you as a result of your relationship with anybody on the face of this earth. Generalize it. Let, don't let your mind be on one particular person. Okay? It will be restored back to you. Do this prayer for seven days. Osas, do this prayer for seven days. Okay? Mm. Things will change. Ola Diti. Don't worry. God will not allow you to lose Leko. And if god allows it then he is not the will of god for you but if he is the will of god for you he will come back to you he will stay with you glue to you yes we have a product called glue to me it's one of our favorite products mm. very effective too we have love me we have glue to me
Elvera. Elvera Mwa Kocha. Mwokocha. Yes, Elvera. This well with you. Elvera. Mm. They say the animal that they are shooting is still eating grass. Look at this one. Why? She's still this way. Mm. See. The enemy that you have is household enemy. Household enemy. Elvera. Household enemy. From your father's house. They don't want you to settle down. They don't want you to have a good business. They don't want you to have a good job. They don't want you to be happy. To, to be somebody like you, you gather things of life. They want to be giving you pain. You may not understand what I'm saying right now. But you see, in your stomach, they say I should tell you, in the center of your body, that is in your mid region, like this, once in a while, you used to feel this pain, turning, sharp pain in your stomach region. The sickness. The sickness. So, I will advise you to get water. Get a glass cup. Okay? Not use plastic cup. Use a glass cup. Okay? Use just glass. Glass cup. I want to show you more. This is this is a glass, right? Get a glass, a glass like this. This one is salt. I think I thought something on salt last time in this. So get a glass cup. Don't put salt inside though. Uh -huh. Just wash it very well. Put water inside. Edible water, the one that you can drink. Drinkable water. Then pray over it. Stand in front of your dressing mirror. Mirror where you can be seeing yourself. Then you mention your name seven times. And then you will say, except if I am not seeing myself in this mirror. That is when the plan of the enemy will make will be made manifest on my life but as long as i'm seeing myself in this mirror today i decree that whatever the enemy has laid in waste for me that power that thing is neutralized that thing is broken and whatever sickness whatever arrow that is growing in my body this water i anoint it for healing as I drink it, let me receive healing, complete healing in my body, in Jesus' name. Then you drink it. Drink that water. Don't leave anyone remaining. Make sure you finish. Fetch the quantity you can drink. Somebody like me, if I carry a full cup of this glass, glass I may not finish it at a time. So if I want to finish it at a time, I will take like half of the cup and drink it so take the quantity you know you can finish at a time then when you finish praying you drink it you do this prayer for three days in front of your dressing mirror your own mirror not another person's mirror okay alvera Mwachuku. god will intervene on your behalf you are innocent okay you are innocent. You didn't hurt them, but they are hurting you. They want to hurt you. See, this thing I'm telling you now, 
I am talking ahead of time because me, I am a spiritual amebo. Yes, I am telling you now. Because you'll be wondering and say, ah, I've been on this lady's show and uh, she did not tell me this thing. She didn't warn me. I may not be able to talk to everybody, but there are some situations that challenges my credibility. So, I talk about it according to how it's been presented to me. Okay? So, congratulations, my lady. Fumilayo, Fumilayo, Ayeni. Don't worry. God is going to prosper your business. The reason why I called you, because we are going to have general prayer now. But I'm still talking to a few more people. So, you see, I want you to do one thing. They say you should carry, write your name in a white piece of paper. Mm. Write your name in a white piece of paper. Then carry um, in a, a, a naira note, whatever denomination you are using, your money, and the money of your country. Carry it. Then. If your business has name, write the name of your business. And then inside the paper, take a pinch of salt, a pinch of salt like this, and put it on top of your name in the paper. Fold it together like this. Then, as you fold it, when you fold it together, then put it in the middle of that money. Put them together and then keep it for three days. After three days, take that salt, that paper and that salt. Go and open the paper outside. You can do it in front of your business place. And if your business is online, you can just do it outside your house. Pour that salt on the sand on outside. When you put the salt outside, then that paper, you can just tear it, just discard it. The salt has absorbed your intention. Send it to the universe. It's a message. That money, carry that money. Give it to any, any less privileged person, any beggar, anybody lesser than you. Give it to them. You should not give money that does not make sense. If you are in Nigeria, at least you use 1,000 Naira note or 500 Naira note. Okay? Because in Nigeria now, even 500 Naira food now, a plate of food, 500 Naira, I don't think it has meat. Uh -huh. I don't know if it has meat. So, at least money that can buy, that can sponsor a plate of food, however manageable. For somebody at, for a meal uh -huh. give it out your business is going to open yes so for me lion do this particular spiritual exercise make sure you pray and say your intention how you want it what you want and any other person listening to me now can still do the same thing I've told Fumilayo to do. Guys, please super chat me. Somebody super chatted me while I was talking to. Yes, Timaya. Timaya, thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. Yes. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. 
now I have 288 I need 350 I have 288 please somebody do something about that okay <laughs> yes thank you for responding mm. Ijoma, Ijoma Cash, Ijoma, congratulations. Mm. I see breakthrough coming your way, uh, but you have to deal with your your heart. Francis G. Udeze, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes. We have 290. Yes, we have 290 now. So, somebody do something about it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Francis. Yeah. So, um, Ijoma Cash, congratulations. I say it with my full chest. J9, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. J9 has made it to $300. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yes, we have 50 to go. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> so, you see? Mm. Use cinnamon powder in your site in your business in your farming uh, business site use cinnamon powder jaffet diara use cinnamon powder sprinkle it a little pray over it for blessing mm. whatever you are farming there whatever product you are producing or whatever animal you are rearing it will yield results and you will see it yes Velma Kuli, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you for standing in for me. Yeah. Efficient <clears throat> Okane. Yes. Is it Okane or? Uh, akone, akone, efficient, akone, efficient, akone. You know why I'm calling you? It's because they say, look at this one. The there is a woman. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Francis. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. There is a woman in your father's, mm. like in your father's house, mm. that is a wife. Mm. That has done something to you. Mm. Um, mm. Mm. Has done something to you. To prevent you from getting that quantum leap you know what they call quantum leap quantum leap is a situation where you get blessing prosperity you know growth but instead the enemy wants you to be crawling to be struggling to be working hard at anything that you you put yourself inside it's witchcraft it's witchcraft this person i'm talking about it has a powder there is a powder this black powder that they use to put in it's inside a jacket something like um 
in my language they call it a litter uh -huh. like, like like pillowcase a small tiny pillowcase that has rope at the, at the edge that thing contains some powder she gets this thing from the the, the meeting the headquarter the coven is there so this person this person is 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 like is is the wife in your family mm. he's not doing it to you alone you are just one of you are just one of the victims one mm -hmm. so pray against witchcraft attack mm. So, pray against it. Pray against every attack. Anywhere your name is being, is being mentioned for evil, let the fire of God arise on your behalf. Read Psalm 35. Mm. You can do this prayer for three days. You can do this prayer for five days or seven days. I set ablaze whatever powder, whatever power that they are using to mention my name. Mm. It shall be so. Congratulations. God will give you the money to process your document to travel abroad in Jesus' name. Amen. Micah. Mm. Aderonke. Aderonke Adeyemi. They say you are playing with fire. Like when a small child does not understand fire, will be crawling towards it, will be crawling towards it. There is a human snake around you. That is your place of work or your place of business or a, a gathering. This is like you come together with this snake, you come together with this snake. Why I say snake, this particular human being, this particular person can actually turn to snake in, in, in the spiritual realm and go and bite somebody and the person can develop symptoms of snake bite in the physical. You what I go? You understand what I'm saying? Show to you, Abi. I don't understand. I don't know how to say it in Yoruba, uh, but um, sure you understand what I'm saying. She eti eti bo ikoto mwan software. So you are playing. You are you are playing around fire. The reason why they're asking me to warn you is because you don't know. So be very cautious what you say. <laughs> Ola Inka, she's laughing at my Yoruba. Don't worry. Very soon. Ah, Yoruba or your mota mama software, Yoruba or your, the one from Oyo, not even Lagos one. Lagos is adulterated. I will start speaking on your Yoruba now. Ibadan. Eh, very soon. <laughs> so, you see, my sister, they and me, you you number one be very cautious the way you talk thank you francis thank you so much thank you the way you talk the way you 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 dress the way you show off 
or the way you share your testimonies. Let your testimony be like redeemed testimony, redeemed church testimony. Once I was blind, now I can see. Once I was blind, now I can see. Or, pata pata, if you want to give testimony, turn it to a song. Oh, but don't worry. Oh, sugar, Oh, but tari, tari shall worry. Oh, sugar, Yes, so. Ah, ah. The God that you cannot see. The king that you cannot see, but you can see the work of his hand. This is your glory. This is your, your praise. Glory be to you. And go and sit down. Don't say, Mbati, Mofe, this and that. Mbati, this. Eh, my, my beauty, my son. I do this one. I bought the Ferrari. I bought the Lamborghini. Huh. I say, this person. This fire, this snake that you are playing around, that you're getting closer, you're getting closer, is in a congregation or in a place where you meet, where there are others too. So, my sister, this is a spiritual warning to you. Okay? So, Bola Ogumilade, thank you. Yes. Guys, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Um, we couldn't get um, 350, but we got 315. Yes. So 315. Uh, we are looking for 35. Yes, 35 dollar. That is what is remaining to meet the target. Yes, but I am so grateful. Mm. Bumi. Thank you. Amen. I can be. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah. Bumi. Pray. Pray for your household. Mm. Pray for your household. There is something. Thank you, Bola. Thank you so much for the super share. God bless you. Now we have 330. 3.30. That is all we have now. Remaining $20. Yes. Thank you so much. So, Bumi. I saw an evil thing that has walked into your home or into your house where you live. An evil thing that has one, two legs, two hands, and a head. Uh, but this is not a human being. <clears throat> this is a spirit. Mm. Pray against evil, evil presence. I will advise you to burn, to boil, to cook cinnamon stick. If you have cinnamon stick. Oh, hi, yo. Yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Francis G. Udeze. Ah, thank you, Francis. Thank you so much also thank you so much yes so you see boil cinnamon stick this is what they say i should tell you carry cinnamon stick put it inside pot then put plenty water put it on fire let it boil for like maybe 30 minutes Black eyes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Yes. Thank you so much. So, you boil this cinnamon stick in your house. 
when you boil it inside pot make sure that pot is a pot that you're not going to use for uh for some days because you're going to repeat that process that thing the way it waka enter your house to waka come out mm. they cannot stand it they cannot stand it it will leave you do it anytime that you are home anytime that you have time put it on fire don't allow them to pour it away yes cinnamon stick powder you can drink it velma coolie thank you thank you thank you so much thank you for the super chat god bless you yeah you guys are amazing thank you so much yeah so you see when you boil the cinnamon stick it drives eliminate expunge soak out and drive out evil presence in your home yes so if you don't have cinnamon stick you can order it from us but if you have please do it mm. yes anybody can do this see if you don't feel free if you enter your house and you feel some goose pimples on your body suddenly your heart drops once in a while or you you notice a shadow that you don't understand if you have a reason to run and go and on light in a certain corner of your house do it yes okay <clears throat> hmm. Esther Motsiya Don't worry, no power No any evil power orchestrated against your children against you and your household will prosper in jesus name mm. god will protect you watch over you and everything that you have in jesus name none of your children shall go missing in jesus name amen yes so don't worry um when that type of thing is not just a kidnapper it is witchcraft but however you were able to rescue your child from the hands of the enemy in that same dream if they had gone with it with, with it then you should start praying for your child because when somebody is being kidnapped in the dream especially a baby it means the enemy wants to use that kind of a child for sacrifice. Yes. But if you are able to overpower your enemy and retrieve that thing back, they, will not, they, they have failed. Yes. So congratulations, my sister. Francis G. Udeze. Thank you, thank you so much for your super chat. Yes. God will heal your legs in Jesus' name. So guys, let us pray now. So now what I, what I want you to do right now is that ask God for two things. What are those things that you want him to do for you? Ask God for two things, and it shall be done unto you. Yes. Now, start asking God for it. But before you do that, say, God, I am sorry. In any way that I have fallen short of your glory, in any way that I have sinned against you and against mankind, I am sorry. Have mercy on me. In Jesus' name. Then you will now say, Oh God, I want you to bless me with money. More money, oh God. Money is all I need. I need blessing. I need good health. I need protection. I need your coverage over my, my family. Over my business. 
over my career, over my education. Whatever it is that you're asking God that you want, please, just two things, mention two things now before we round it up with our own prayer, okay? We have really stayed too long today, so I'm uh, really sorry. Uh, next time, we will not be staying this long, okay? So, it's all right. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, behold your children. You said in your word that was whatever that is committed into my hands cannot be destroyed. Dear Lord, you commit all your children into your hands. As many that are watching me right now, even those that will see this video later, this prayer will work for you anytime, any day, in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemy concerning you is cancelled in the name of Jesus. I want you to be saying Amen. Yes. Receive your visa to travel in the name of Jesus. Receive your green card, your citizenship in the name of Jesus. Receive your victory in your court case, in your police case in the name of Jesus. Yes. Receive your vindication, your victory from the witches and wizards that are afflicting you from your family. Be vindicated, be exonerated in the name of Jesus. These are people that use this power of loophole to attack you. They judge your case on your behalf and they find you guilty and they afflict you. But in this case, you will, you will not be found guilty, but you will win every case, any case that has been summoned on your behalf or in your presence, in the covenant, you will win in the name of Jesus. Yes. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you, both in the physical and in the realm of the spirit, shall, must be condemned in the name of Jesus. Yes, provision. The Lord will provide for you. He will provide for you in the time of famine. He will provide for you in the time of plenty. In the name of Jesus. Whether they shall say there is a, when they say there is a casting down, ye shall say there is a lifting up. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Yes, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. They have conspired against you. They have pushed you out of your position. The Lord will lift you up and take you to a higher position in the name of Jesus. Yes. That which you have lost, receive the restoration of it in the name of Jesus. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Receive your job. Receive your husband. Receive your woman in the name of Jesus. Yes. They shall surely gather, but not by me. But whosoever shall gather against thee shall fall for thy sake. In your place of work, in your family, in your community, in any way that you find yourself, as many that are conspiring against you, they will all fall for your sake in the name of Jesus. Yes. That casket, that coffin they have fixed together, that grave that they have dug, I am seeing five graves that have been dug. None of you shall be buried in that grave, but the ones that, that dug that grave, they will be buried in it in the name of Jesus. Yes, you will not die before your time. Death is cancelled over your lives in the name of Jesus. Yes, God will prosper you in the presence of your enemy. Your cup will run it over in the name of Jesus. If God does not spare the life of your enemy and make them powerless so that they can watch you shine in their presence, where is the punishment? 
your enemies will receive punishment beyond their power. They will watch you succeed and there's nothing they can do about it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Ayo Edebo. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yes. She super chatted us while we were praying. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. God will make your life stand out. Yes. Udezi. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes. God will prosper you. I pray concerning as many that have superchatted me. God Almighty will replenish your pocket. You will not lack what is called finance. No. Money will not be a stranger to you. You will become a magnet of money all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. God will not leave you empty. The God of the blind, which will reach out to, will blindfold the eyes of your enemies every day, every night in the name of Jesus. Yes. I went out this evening and as we were coming back, my younger brother was driving the car and then I made him to stop in front of one blind person that was his first time of seeing us in action because he just came to visit and uh, he was like wow you mean you give this blind person all of this uh, won't you divide the money share the money into i said no this one is meant for this particular person it is spiritual i say oh 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 i understand you know so we reach out to blind people every day every day on your behalf so god almighty will never allow your enemy to prevail over you they will go blind both in the realm of the spirit and even in the physical they will forget about you they will become powerless over you in jesus name amen thank you so much so guys i would love to stay but time is gone so we will meet again in our next um live video which is every saturday nigerian time 8 p.m nigerian time we meet every saturday and during the week as the lord permits i may pop up for live video but on every day i upload regular video so if you are not seeing my regular upload it means you, you did not turn on your notification bell. So check your notification bell and put it on so that if I upload any video, you will see it. And when I come live like this, you'll be the first to see us. Please make it a date with us and share my video with others and others, your friends and family. And follow me on my Facebook page. May the Lord too. The Lord is growing us there. Now we have 240 something thousand followers on Facebook. Yes. But that other fake account, I see it there. It's like 3,000 followers or something like that. That one is a fake account. It's not mine. My, the only Facebook page that I have is, is showing 240 something thousand followers as of this evening. So, and it's growing. So I cannot even give you a, start, a, a, a standard. Um, number but we are growing okay yes so thank you thank you for joining me there and thank you for following me there also yes thank you so much i'll see you again in our next live video stay blessed bye